It's Friday the 13th, 2018, and I've got the seduced falcon uh, of my very special customer in today. I want to show you what I've done to his trim on the car and basically how the trim should look at minimum on an FG if it's taken care of well or had my service done. So this had all white build up in it as you've probably seen in the previous video. I've now coated, repaired that and coated it and it's now completely clean, free of any of that white residue. I've also done a touch up on uh, his lower exterior, lower exterior trim, which I actually did initially when I did the paint correction process on this car. It still needs more to make the color darker, but it's, it'll get another service in the future. I've also coated these. And uh, this is really how your trim on, a, on an FG should look. If it's dull, gray, and water spotted or etched, um, you need to get it sorted out ASAP. Uh, we're still working on a solution to fix water spot etching or other etching on these um, without going through the, the shiny coating on top. But on a good, good condition one that's just grey, we can make them like this using natural silica technology, um, basically. And uh, ultra smooth. And not everyone likes their trim that dark, but that's how good it should be. And it can be maintained and we'll be providing a product, a natural silica product, for this for you to use yourself in the near future. So both sides all done. Get down and get to a better angle. And then obviously the, uh, the top pieces as well should be black, not grey. If you like it grey, just use something called Permanon Matte, uh, Super Matte, and leave them like that, but at least they'll be protected then. Everything needs protection from the harsh UV rays of Australia. And I've also fixed his windscreen cowling as well. Stripped it back, cleaned it, prepped it, coated it. It's not as dark as what it can be, but obviously a few more layers of coating and permanent on gold and it will be lovely. But at least all that white residue is gone.